Hello everyone, so I'm going to show you how you will submit your outputs uh, sa LDM2. So I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step on how you will zip your uh, the file folders and then how you uh, will submit it to the links uh, na binigay for the submission of outputs. So again, reminder lang, so the submission for the LDM2 outputs module 1 to 4 is hanggang September 28, 2020. And then again, each folder, uh, dapat you have to name it this way. This will be the file format. So the SDO, SDO name, the district, the module number, and your full name. So example, Pangasinan 1, Lingin 1, module 1, and then your name. So uh, before you will submit it, uh, online, you have to make sure that each folder or each module na check na na ng lock leader. So again, yun yung isang uh, uh, requirements dito or isang uh, basic uh, thing na dapat gawin bago mo submit online. It should be checked first by your lock leader okay, to check the completeness prior to submission of outputs. And then, you have to make sure as much as possible, we have to avoid submitting uh, staggered uh, basis. So again, these are the links okay, for for module, uh, for the modules. So module 1, module 2, uh, 3A, 3B, and 4. So ito yung mga link. Okay. So let me open first and show you my modules okay, that are classified, uh, uh, sorry, uh, that are classified uh, sa, uh, per module. So I have here module 2. Okay, I have here module 1. This is my module 2, 3A, 3B, and 4. So as you can see here, module 2 is not properly uh, named. So I'm going to rename it. So to do that, okay, just in case may mga ganito, right click, rename, and then gawin natin Pangasinan 1 underscore, linkin 1, linkin 1, then underscore, um, the module number which is module 2 and uh, underscore uh, the your name Marian Soriano so again before you submit uh, this or before you zip it kasi yeah before you zip it or before you submit it online again na check na ng lock later so to zip the folders you have to make sure that you have a WinRAR or zip uh, program. Okay, so ito yon. So check natin. So ito yung usual na ginagamit. Okay, ito yung gagamitin ko yung WinRAR. So ang gagawin mo lang is tapat mo doon sa folder na gusto mong i-zip. So right click and then add to archive. And then yung archive name niya wala nang problema. Ngayon dito sa archive format, piliin ang zip. Okay? And then, dito sa browse, piliin mo kung saan niya isi-save yung compressed na folder file. So, let's say, for example, I want to put it sa desktop para mas madali kong mahanap mamaya. And then, click OK. And then, click OK again. So, yun, naka-save na sa aking desktop. Pag titignan natin, nandito na sa aking desktop ngayon yung compressed uh, form ng module. So, gawin nyo yun hanggang sa makompress nyo lahat ng folder. So, may I show you? May, kasi mabilis lang naman. So, add to archive, file name, piliin again ang ar sa archive format, zip dapat, and then saan mo isi-save? Sa desktop. Okay. Okay. And then dito sa pangatlo, add to archive, zip, archive format, zip, browse, and then sa desktop, Okay, niya yeah, isi-save. Okay, click okay ulit. Ganun lang kabilis kung nakikita nyo. So, add to archive ulit. Archive format, zip, browse. Okay, and then desktop niya isi-save. Okay, and then click okay. And then yung pinakalas na module dito, add to archive, zip, and then browse. si save niya sa desktop, and then click okay. And then okay. Now, if everything is done, na compress na lahat yung folders, so andito na siya, ito yun. Okay. Ang gagawin ko ngayon ay bubuksan ko yung link. So, let's say for example, isasamit ko sa module 1. So, magbubukas ako ng uh, browser. 
And then, since nakatype na yung link dito, ang gagawin ko na lang is ikakopy ko, or itatype, pwede naman copy, sa for module 1 ito. So, and then, enter lang. So, ito yung link para sa module 1 for master teachers and teachers. So, uh, it will ask your email. So, ilagay nyo yung dep uh, dep email nyo. And then, you will be asked if you are a beta tester. So, if you are not the selected teachers for the beta testing of these modules, so you click no. Okay? And then, your name. Okay, pwede mong kumpituhin kasi wala naman silang sinabi dyan kung hindi mo pwede ilagay ang middle initial. And then, your position. And then, yung, your division. So, for us, Pangasinan 1, division. And then, add file. So, doon sa add file, i-click natin. And then, select files from your device. And then, dito, hanapin mo kung saan mo sinave yung compress uh, folder. So, let's say, for example, dito sa desktop. Yan. So, hanapin mo na ngayon dito yung uh, file. So, para mas mabilis, uh, papalitan ko itong viewing ko, gagawin kong list, yan, para mas mabilis kong mahanap, o gawin kong uh, with details, yan. So, nasa desktop ako, kasi doon ko sinave yung aking mga compress uh, folders ng module uh, outputs. So, hanapin ko ngayon, eto siya, so, hanapin ko yung module 1, okay, so, inanabigit ko lang, so, ito, panggasin ng 1, link in 1, module 1, so, i-click ko yan, Click open. Okay. So, mapaprocess ngayon. So, yan. naka na. So, upload. Click ko ang upload. So, ipaprocess yan hanggang sa mag-full yung bar dito. Ibig sabihin, completed yung pag-upload. So, wait lang po natin. Patiently. Gawin po natin yan. Okay. Gagawin po natin sa lahat ng modules. Again, magsasubmit lang kapag na-check na na ng lock leader. Yan. So, if okay na na yung attachment, click submit. Click submit. And then yan. So, module 1 teacher, LDM2 submission. Your response has been recorded. Do the same. So, gagawin ko ulit. Papakita ko ulit. This time naman sa module 2. So, again, you can type or copy the link. So, copy the link for module 2. And then dito sa browser, pwede nyo nang uh, i-paste click enter and then your email again and then again you're not a beta tester teacher so click no your name your complete name and then your position so again nandito na ako sa module 2 your division Okay. And then, add file ulit. And then, navigate. Select uh, files from your device. So, navigate kung saan mo sinave. Desktop. And then, hanapin mo yung compress a folder ng module 2. Okay. So, eto siya. Pangasin yung 1 linggin 1 module 2. Click. And then, click open. And then, upload. Okay. So, ipaprocess ulit. Okay, and then, click submit. So, you do uh, the same process, pero different link lang sa remaining uh, modules. So, ganun lang po yung pag-zip at pag-submit ng LDM2 outputs. Just make sure na na-check na po ng inyong lock leader.